Hello and welcome to a new chapter of Mahabharat. This is chapter 24. Let's begin. So Duryodhan and his cunning advisor Shakuni approached King Dhritarashtra with worried faces. Shakuni, the one who always had a plan, spoke first. Shakuni said, looking at Dhritarashtra with concern, Dear King, Duryodhan is very sad and it seems like you are not noticing. Why aren't you helping him feel better? Dhritarashtra, who loved his son a lot, hugged Duryodhan and tried to cheer him up. He said gently, My dear son, you have everything a person could want. You are smart, you are strong, you are even going to be king one day. What makes you so unhappy? But Duryodhan couldn't hide his sadness. He said, Father, even though I have everything, I feel very empty inside. Seeing the Pandavas doing better than us is making it even worse. And Duryodhan kept talking, getting more and more upset and his words were laden with bitterness and resentment. He said things like, contentment is not the hallmark of a warrior. To harbour fear and pity is to diminish the stature of kings. Though I may possess wealth and luxury, they offer me no comfort in the shadow of Yudhishthir's grandeur. While the Pandavas are flourishing, we are withering away. While Dhritarashtra was torn between his love for his son and his sense of justice for his extended family, sought to counsel Duryodhan against this path of animosity. He implored Duryodhan and said, My beloved child, you are the heir to a legacy of greatness and glory. Do not let hatred poison your heart especially towards those who are blameless. Why harbour enmity towards Yudhishthir, whose prosperity is but an extension of our own? He is your brother. Embrace your brother as an equal, not a rival. But Duryodhan wouldn't listen. He thought his father's advice wasn't helpful. To the point of rudeness, he replied to his father rudely and said, Father, I know you are smart, but you don't understand how to rule a kingdom like I do. Kings need to win, not just be nice. And that's what I think. And then he quoted examples from history and quotes from many people supporting his argument that kings are not meant to be content. Kings need to fight, kings need to win, kings need to be ambitious. At this point, Shakuni jumped in with his plan to trick the Pandavas into a game of dice. So they'd lose everything without a fight. Shakuni said slyly, We just need to invite Yudhishthir to play a game of dice with us. And I'll make sure we win. Duryodhan, who was already excited by this idea, supported Shakuni and agreed. And he said, Shakuni can win everything for me. All you need to do, my father, is to invite Yudhishthir. Now, Dhritarash wasn't sure about the plan. And he suggested, that let me ask Vidur. But Duryodhan didn't want to listen. He said Vidur will never support this plan. Vidur is partial to the Pandavas and Vidur doesn't understand how kings should behave. Finally, Dhritaraj relented and he agreed to the plan. Even though he had an inkling that this will cause trouble. But he hoped things would turn out okay. But deep down, he knew destiny had a role to play. And destiny was playing that role now. Dhritarashtra, though did go to Vidur later and discussed the plan to invite Yudhishthir for a game of dice, to which Vidur, as expected, said that this idea will ruin a lot of things. Vidur said that if we do invite Yudhishthir for a game of dice, this will lead to things that would cause the ruin of the whole family of Kurus. Dhritarashtra, preferring his love for his son over everything else, told Vidur that there is no option and ordered him to go to Indraprastha and invite Yudhishthir for a game of dice. And thus, at this point in our story of the Mahabharat, Dhritarashtra put in motion a chain of events that would forever alter the course of history. Thank you for listening and watching this episode 
I will see you soon next week with a new episode.